A couple months ago, I introduced you to Samantha Suazo, a student at Lone Peak High School who started Noticias Montaña, a Spanish-speaking newspaper intended for the Spanish-speaking community of Gallatin County, but all of Montana. Now, she's a freshman at Yale and is back at Gallatin High School, talking with students about her shared experience going through the education system, hoping to instill that same passion in the students. El trabajo que yo hacía en mi comunidad. Telling lots of people about my story, about my success, about my struggles, about the experiences that I've had that have taught me about the person that I am today. Suazo spoke to students at Gallatin High. Many of the students listened closely as she spoke Spanish. Soy adicta al café. I know that these kids aren't by themselves, that they have each other, you know, to lay on, they have each other to cry on. For many of these students, English, Montana, and the United States is new to them. Navigating a new home and a school can sometimes prove difficult. Knowing more about the English language, knowing more about what it means to be Montanan, knowing more about what it means to be a resident of the United States. Suasa was the first to speak to students. She recently graduated from Lone Peak High School, where she was the first Spanish speaker, the first immigrant. Immigrant. She came back to talk to students at Gallatin High, who happened to be in her shoes as the first in their families to come move their education forward. Um, just because everybody kind of knows about Samantha in the community, and I just immediately knew she was amazing, she's brilliant. Evelyn Paz is a multilingual language coordinator at the Bozeman School District. She began these weekly chats to help students who speak English as a second language navigate high school and the potential future after graduation from people who look and sound just like the students. When I went to school here, there was zero representation and, and just because the population hadn't grown. Bas, who went through the district herself, created these weekly chats to help students and teachers navigate the growing pains that come with being an English learner. Being able to come back, and I know exactly what they're going through, what they're missing, and, and I even hold such space for teachers who are trying really hard but they don't have the tools. Swaso says she always leaves a piece of herself in everything that she does and that passion is evident in the community she calls home. I see their smiles, I see their motivation to, to, to be here and I'm grateful for them being here because it makes me feel as if Montana is changing and it's changing towards a bright path. In Bozeman, Edgar Cedillo, MTN News.